Hey everybody, <laughs> April Fool's Day is just around the corner. Are all of you ready? You got any good jokes planned out yet? So in this video, I would like to share with all of you on how to be successful on April Fool's Day. And I will share some of my successful pranks that I pulled in the past. So April 1st, people are usually very careful about trusting people because it's April Fool's Day. So when will be the best time to start hitting them with your April Fool's jokes? You have to do it when they least expect it. And when would that be? One, midnight. Once it hits 12 a.m., that will be the best time to start hitting them with your pranks. Because once it hits 12 a.m., people are not worried at the time. They still think it's March 31st. Two, different time zones. Say if you're in a different time zone where it reaches April 1st before another time zone, that will be a best time. For example, say you're in the East Coast where it's three hours ahead of the West Coast here in California. Once it hits 12 a.m. there, it's still 9 p.m. here in the West Coast. That would be a best time to start hitting them with your pranks, even though it's kind of cheating. And three, in the middle of a conversation, say you're having a normal casual conversation with a friend, then just suddenly bring it up, that's when they least expect it. So those are three ways where you can be successful on your April Fool's jokes. All right, now let me share with all of you on some of my successful April Fool's pranks that I pulled in the past. Number one, the best man. Hey man, what's up? Uh, listen, I have a favor. Actually, a really, really huge favor. I just want to ask you first before I make the official announcement. But... I'm getting married in three months, and I was just wondering if you could be the best man at my wedding. Uh, if it's a little bit too much, uh, I understand, but I would be really honored if you could do it. Wow, I would be honored. <laughs> Heck yeah, I'll be your best man. Really? Oh my gosh, that means so much to me. <laughs> But I have one thing left to say. What's up? Happy <laughs> April Fool's Day! Okay, let me ask you this. If you were really getting married, would you ask me to be your best man? Huh? Huh? I actually pulled this one on my friend when I was in Toronto. It was 1 a.m. in Toronto, and you know Toronto, it's three hours ahead of San Diego. That's why I got him good. <laughs> Yeah, he said he would be so honored to be my best man. So that's a good one to pull on your guy friends. Two, the airport. So find a picture of you that was taken in the airport, a selfie or something, or you could just go to the airport and take a selfie, but that will be a bit expensive. Anyways, just find a picture of you that was taken in the airport and post it on social media or text it to some friends. Uh, just say, hey guys, I'm about to leave for Taiwan, to Korea, to Europe, or something. And that could get them good, because on April Fool's Day, they try to look for the obvious that it's a prank. But if they see a picture of you that was clearly taken at the airport, um, they will get tricked, most likely. Yeah, I remember I posted this picture on April Fool's Day, and I said I was going back to Hong Kong. People were really shocked. They were like, what about school? My Cantonese mom was not happy when she saw this post. Even after I told her it was April Fool's Day. Three, bail me out. And this would most likely work during midnight. And only do this to close friends because uh, if you do it to someone who you're not really close with, uh, they might get mad or they might not believe it. So uh, around midnight, uh, text a friend saying that, uh, you're in jail because you were drunk driving or you were speeding and ask them to bail you out. Try to talk with them a little longer, like the amount that they have to pay in order to bail you out. And after that, you can say, Happy <laughs> April Fool's Day. Four, the father. So find a picture of you with some kid. Make sure he looks a little bit like you. Does he look like me? Anyways, um, find a picture of you with some kid, post it on social media, IG, or Facebook, and write on the captions, Today is my son's fifth birthday. I cannot believe he is growing up this fast. And this would only work to people that don't know you too well. Close friends and family members, especially your parents, uh, don't try it. When my Cantonese mom saw this, uh, she actually believed it. Nah, I'm just kidding. And five. North Korea. This will take some work, but it's a good one. 
I actually got a lot of people with this one. So print out some portraits of Kim Jong-il and Kim Il-sung and put it somewhere on your wall and take a selfie, like this one. Well, the North Korean currency, I actually got it uh, on my trip to the DMZ, so that's a bonus. Anyways, just take a selfie with the Kim Jong-il and Kim Il-sung portraits in the background, post it online or share it with your friends, say, hey, I went on a trip to North Korea. All right, so those were my tips on how to be successful on April Fool's Day, and let me know if it does work or not. And lastly, please play nicely on April Fool's Day. Don't pull any pranks that might hurt people's feelings, such as walking up to a person saying that you have COVID, don't tell your boyfriend girlfriend that you want to break up, or sh share that you have some disease that is life-threatening. Just play nice. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.